Hello there, today we're going to turn on a normal stock image into nice abstract wallpaper using Affinity Photo version 2. If this is your first time here, you can subscribe for more tutorials like this. Alright, here I am in Affinity Photo. I'm using version 2, but you can also follow this tutorial in version 1. You can also follow this tutorial on your iPad. Alright, so let's start with just a random stock image it will be not that important so i will head to stock tap here this is the stock studio if it's not there in your case you can always go to window and check that your stock studio is turned on you just need this checkbox on the left all right let's search, search for nature And then we're going to use one of these pictures here. All right, I got my stock image. It's a bit too big, so I will unzoom a little bit. In my case, that's comment minus. Okay, like this will do. Let's keep it a bit too large. That's fine. And now I will apply uh, blur on it. So I'll go for Ga Gaussian blur, very basic blur. Using the slider, I will blur it so I cannot see any detail on it. All right. I will merge the blur into it. And then I think I still need to make it even a bit, a bit larger. So here, like that. And I'm ready to right click on this image and rasterize and trim. And that's our base for this abstract wallpaper. You see, we don't need to use a brush to paint some dark and lighter section using a few different colors to make this base. We just blur an image. So that's a really nice. Let's rename this. That's our backdrop. And from here we can apply a shape. So I'm going to use oval shape like that. Very simple. And now we apply FX layer effects here. We need to reduce the overall opacity. So fill opacity from here, from layer effects, not from the layer opacity. If I reduce opacity here, I can still have a full opacity for layer effects. I'm just reducing the fill opacity here. So we can reduce this to nothing, to zero, and then inner glow with overlay as blend mode, like that. Next, outer glow. And in this case, I will keep it as hard light. So now we got this glowing shape that we can use as we want to create some kind of abstract glows around. Let's convert this to curves and we can now work with it when we're using node tool. So if I double tap on it, I can alter this shape easily like that. Okay, I will duplicate this. We can right click in the layer panel, select duplicate, just like that. And for this duplicate, I will actually, maybe I will actually apply some colors. I will keep this fill opacity as 10%, so it's a little bit of color inside. And again, I can double tap. We can alter the shape as we want, make some random changes. If you're not sure what to do, just try something like that. And now we got nice glowing lines here already, huh? Maybe one more over here. As you can see, now I'm duplicating this just by moving it around while pressing Command. So that's a nice trick like that okay now let's populate the right side of the screen a 
you can modify the position of shape if you double tap then you can modify it even further using node tool you can even click on the line and add a new node here just like that nice all right and again let's come and see command v copy and paste make a duplicate rotate this duplicate and then we can make even more changes by using node tool nice i will maybe reduce opacity of this whole layer here and then i will create one more layer and i will reduce opacity of this layer even further say on the right side i will reduce opacity of this guy on the side here to 80 percent make a duplicate and reduce opacity of this duplicate even further 30 percent all right so we got nice organic glows on this blur backdrop we got nice abstract wallpaper of course if you are doing this for like personal branding now you can put some kind of logo on it or something like that why not uh, i will finish this project with a nice gradient like adjustment so i will create a rectangle at the very top and then i will fill this rectangle with a gradient so the gradient tool and now i will change colors All right, here's my gradient and I can play with opacity and I can also play with blending modes, right? So we can blend it with our artwork, with our abstraction here to create even more interesting wallpaper. So if I blend it like this, I got this nice gradient on it now. All right, so here's our abstract wallpaper. As you can see, it's really simple and you can do it. So please try yourself. Just blur your backdrop, put a shape. In my case, that was ellipse. Make this shape glow and then bend it around, move it around to create nice abstract effect like this. I hope this was useful. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos like this one. And I hope I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.